Welcome to WMUL FM Training. I'm Mike Stanley. This is the 19th video in our series on Rivendell Radio Automation. This video will cover day parting and rotation of cuts within carts. We will start with day parting. Rivendell gives you four different ways of restricting when a cut may be played. Start and end date, time day parting, day day parting, and evergreen. We will start with start and end dates for cuts. The start date is the date and time before which the cut is not allowed to air. You might do this for a sportscast promo. If you make a promo for the Marshall vs. Rice football game on October 3rd, you would not want that promo to air before the end of the Marshall vs. Appalachian State game on September 19th. The start time of the Appalachian State game has not been set as of this recording. Let's say that it will be over by 10 p.m. We will set the start date to 09 19 2020 at 2200 hours. The end date is the date and time after which the cut is not allowed to air. The promo for the Marshall vs. Rice game should not air after that game kicks off. The start time of the Rice game has also not been set as of this recording. Let's say the game broadcast starts at 1 p.m. We will set the end date to 10.03.2020 at 12.59.59, one second before 1 p.m. Now this cut will only air after September 19th, 2020 at 10 p.m. and before October 3rd, 2020 at 1 p.m. You might have a cut that does not need a start date, but does need an end date. In that case, you can set the end date to the desired date and the start date to yesterday. That will allow the cut to begin playing immediately and not play after the end date. It is August 28th. We will set the start date to 0827. Now, this cut will air any time between now and October 3rd, 2020 at 1 p.m. You might have the opposite situation. You might have a cut that needs a start date, but once it starts playing, it can continue to play forever. In that case, you can set the start date as needed and set the end date to December 31st, 2199. We will set the start date to September 1st, 2020 at 0 hundred hours. and set the end date to December 31st, 2199. Now this cut will begin playing September 1st, 2020, and will keep playing forever. For cuts that do not need an actual start and end date, this field may have a slightly different meaning depending on the origin of the audio. If the cut was imported over from our previous system, Wide Orbit, or if it was ingested using Adobe Audition 3, then the start date will be the date the file was ingested, and the end date will be centuries in the future. In this case, the start date was September 25, 2009, and the end date is December 31, 7999. If the cut was created within Rivendell or using Adobe Audition Creative Cloud, then the start date will be blank and the end date will be TFN or till further notice. If a cart has multiple cuts with different starts and end dates, such as this one, then the start date of the cart will be the earliest date of any cut, and the end date will be the latest date of any cut. As you can see, cut one has a start date of October 1st, 2020, and so does the cart. Cut two has an end date of October 31st, 2020, and so does the cart. You will also notice that there is a gap in the middle. Cut 1 ends on October 14th, but Cut 2 doesn't start until October 16th. That does not show up on the cart. It only appears when I click the plus to show the individual cuts. The next option for restricting when a cut may air is time day parting. Time day parting restricts when during the day a cut may be played. Time day parting is controlled with the day part controls here. This cut will only play between 9 a.m. and 2 p.m. 
And the third way is day day parting. Day day parting restricts a cut to only playing on certain days of the week. Day day parting is controlled with the day of the week controls here. The cut will only air on the days of the week that are checked. This cut will not play on Monday or Tuesday, but will play the rest of the week. You also have convenience buttons on the side to set all or clear all of the days of the week. These three settings, start and end date, time day parting, and day day parting, work together and the most restrictive setting takes precedence. For this cut, the day day parting is set to not air on Monday or Tuesday. The time day parting is set to only air between 9 a.m. and 2 p.m. The start date is August 25, 2020 at 1 p.m. The end date is set to September 4th at 11 a.m. This is a contrived example. So by the start date, this cut could start airing on August 25th at 1 p.m. The time day parting also allows this. However, the day day parting does not allow the cut to play on Tuesdays, and August 25th is a Tuesday, so it will not play on the 25th. It will start playing on Wednesday the 26th at 9 a.m. It will keep playing on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. It won't play on the next Monday or Tuesday, the 31st and 1st. It will resume playing on the 2nd at 9 a.m. and keep playing until September 4th at 11 a.m. The final option for restricting when a cut may air is the evergreen setting. A cut set to evergreen will only play when there are no other valid cuts within the cart. This cart has three different cuts, one, two, and three. Cut one is evergreen. Cut two has a start date of September 1st at 0 hundred hours and an end date of September 2nd at 2359.59. Cut three has a start date of September 1st at 0 hundred hours and an end date of September 10th at 2359.59. Before September 1st, only cut one will play. On September 1st and 2nd, cuts two and three will both play. From September 3rd through the 10th, only cut 3 will play. After September 10th, cut 1, the evergreen, will play again. Cut 1 will not play at all between September 1st and 10th. An evergreen cut will only play if there are no other valid cuts inside the cart. If any other cut is valid, that cut will play instead. There are two limitations to time day parting. The time day part must be the same for every day. I cannot set a cut to be valid from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Monday, but noon to 4 p.m. on Tuesday. The time frame must be the same every day. The time day part also cannot cross midnight. I cannot make a cut valid from 8 p.m. to 2 a.m. The system will let you set that day part, but the cut will never play. You can get around both of these restrictions by making multiple copies of the same cut. To have a cut be valid on different times on different days, Set one cut to be valid on Mondays from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. And set the second cut to be valid on Tuesdays from noon to 4 p.m. To have a cut be valid across midnight, set one cut to be valid from 20 hundred hours to 23.59.59. And set the second cut to be valid from 0 hundred hours to 0200. Next, we will cover cut rotation. When a cart has multiple cuts, those cuts are rotated. The cuts can be rotated in either of two ways, by weight or by specified order. Use the scheduled cuts control to change between the two methods. By specified order is exactly what it says on the tin. You give each cut an order number and the cart plays them one, two, three. This is a cart that rotates by specified order. This first column is the order field. This cart will play Foo, then Bar, then Baz, then Free, before looping back around to Foo. Open the Cut Info Record dialog box and use this box to edit the specified order. You do not have to use every number. You can number the cuts 1, 2, 3, 10 if you wish. It will play them 1, 2, 3, 10. You cannot repeat a number. It will not let you save the cart with a repeated number. It will let you input the numbers here, but will not let you save the cart. It remembers the number of the cut that it last played. If number four was the last cut played and you rearrange the cuts 
or add or delete some, it will remember that it played number four last and will go to number five. By weight, we'll play heavier weighted cuts more often than lighter weight cuts. This is a cart that rotates by weight. Now the first column is the weight field. This cut, bar, will play twice for each time the other cuts play. The cart will choose them at semi-random. Open the Cut Info Record dialog box and use this box to edit the weight. This box is in the same spot as the order box for the specified order carts. A final note that weighted rotation and day parting can interact in unpredictable ways. You'll probably want to use one method or the other. That concludes our video on cut day parting and rotation. We covered start and end dates, time day parting, day day parting, and evergreen. We also covered rotation by specified order and by weight. As of now, this is the final video in our series. Thanks for watching.